where we aim to inspire each other to develop real-world skills that improve school culture by making community connections. Thank you for viewing this bonus episode that we like to call Tips from Teachers. Hey all you TVS Panthers, I'm so glad that you're watching this today. Um, guess what all great successful leaders need? They all need a great morning routine. So I'm here today to give you five tips or five things to think about when you're looking at a good morning routine to be a leader. So the first thing you need to know, number one is, you have got to plan the night before, all right? So when you look over here, I've got some props set up for y'all to see. When I get ready the night before, I set my clothes out ahead of time so that I already know what I'm gonna wear for the next day so that I can be my best self. Um, I get thinking about my breakfast, you know, am I gonna be breakfast on the go with some breakfast bars or am I gonna sit? What kind of things am I gonna have? It also gives you something to look forward to when you wake up in the morning. I'm also laying out my homework inside my backpack and that's next to the door along with my coat so that I know where everything is in the morning. Also, it's really, really important when you are thinking about this stuff that you plan ahead with your alarm clock. So when you're planning and you're thinking about what time you need to wake up, start thinking about how long it takes you to get ready in the morning. For me, it takes about 45 minutes or so to get ready and then I also need to factor in my drive time. So with that being said, I always set my alarm ahead and the key is not to hit the snooze button when the alarm goes off. And I know that's really difficult, but if you need to, turn it off when it goes off and then count down in your head. Five, four, three, two, one. When you hit one, the goal is for your feet to be on the floor, which means you're sitting up in bed and you're ready to start that day and be your best self. Last but not least, I have a journal. One of the best ways that you can get ready in the morning is by journaling. And I'm not talking about a giant writing assignment for Mrs. Woodry's English class. I'm talking about you actually giving some thought to your goals, your dreams, your visions for the day or for the year. So I have a sample page right here in this journal. Um, first of all, writing down five things that you're grateful for every day. If you write down good things that happen and you make them small and specific, you find more and more that you are looking for the good in your day every single day. So some examples. Number one, uh, five things I'm grateful for. A good cup of coffee this morning. Uh, sunset that I watched last night maybe. My best friend's joke yesterday. She told something that was really, really funny. Uh, having the two hour delay yesterday. So we got some extra rest in the morning and walking 3.1 miles yesterday. I did that yesterday after school. So that was very, I felt very grateful to have the time to be able to do that. Another thing you can do in that journal is give three positive affirmations. So things like this, I am strong, I am brave, and I am enough. And another little hint with that, take something that you can erase and write it on the mirror that you use in the morning when you get ready. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you can see those words written across the screen so that you're saying those things to yourself regularly. That way you're hearing positive things about yourself. Last but not least, you should probably have at least one to two goals and they can be big things or they can be little things or they can be daily things. So for me, I tried to write down from a student perspective some goals that you might set. Uh, I study every night for 20 minutes to ace my biology exam. That's an example of a goal. If you tell yourself that every day, you're gonna put the time in every day to be able to do that. Or maybe I practiced 30 foul shots last night to, or per, per night to improve by the next game. So if you're gonna do something like that, then you're improving your foul shots. Another trick is to write them as though they've already happened. Like I aced my biology test, or I improved my foul shots. If you tell yourself these things every day, you are more likely to believe them and achieve them. So at the end of the day, if you wanna be a great successful leader and follow kind of what we hope to instill here in TBS Panther Country here, then I hope that you are able to take these tips and improve and revise your morning routine and get going.